surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Hey guys, George Alexander here, and today we are watching The Haunting of Bly Manor Episode 2, The Pupil. Um, last episode was, of course, the first episode. Um, it was good. There are a couple of jumps. I thought there would have been more, but of course, you know, it. like in a horror movie, it's going to start off slow and progress more. And of course, as well, I always think that these have a lot more of a storytelling aspect to them. Um, of course, the jump scares are great, but I think the creepiness and the mystery of the story behind it kind of leads the, the series along. Um, I'm a big fan of Miss Gross. She's my favourite. <laughs> um, Danny is great. Well, I mean, she's good. I'm interested to see more about her backstory, as I said in the last episode, and sort of what happened to her as a child, what she's running from, and sort of where her character is going. The kids, of course, are creepy. I want to know exactly what happened, what happened to their parents, and who was that guy standing on the top of the veranda on the front of the house. God knows. And also what happened to Miss Jessup and what is she up to? Like, come on, why are you pissing about scaring these people? So without further ado, let's get into it. This is... I just realised that my laptop's unplugged, which means, because it's so shit, it's going to die in about 10 seconds, so I'd best plug that in. But without further ado, let's get into it. This is episode two, and yeah, here we go. Good morning. Excuse us, Owen. I like Owen, but I'm scared Owen's, Owen's going to die, because he's, he's too pure for this show. Like it's perfectly dreadful down there. <laughs> So all these houses have like these random ass lights where you start pulling them down. Ooh, she's sitting up. She's like, hey girl, I was waiting for you. Where have you been? Is she standing there? Is someone standing there or is that just a shadow? I don't know. Something's happened. Someone's going to move. Oh, you can stop right there. Thank you very much. Yes. Is he ill? No, Mr. Hooper. Nothing quite so serious. He took a bit of a tumble. He is on the mend. Is that and kid we'll alright? Like, why is he fucking bitching? Oh god, I remember that bell at school. Jesus. None of us are blameless, except the soul that's not yet conceived and the animals. Like Pidge over there. They're the only innocents. You've locked them in a cage though, so like... Is it a pig? Wingrave, an animal is dead because of you, Wingrave. An animal was locked in a cage because of you. Only the letter from Flora, delivered when he arrived, forgotten in the dormitory, would offer a possible clue as to why he tried so, um. so hard to be sent home. Come on. The lady in the lake. Thoughts on the new au pair? Oh, gossip. What? It's just Christian concern, Hannah. <laughs> All right, fine. On a scale of zero to American, how would you rate her? American. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. It's <laughs> just romances don't fare well up live, do they? We just have to laugh. I know. But then that's how it starts. <laughs> don't worry. I only advice for you, Hannah. <laughs> oh. Enjoy your break, ladies. Where exactly? Uh, by the stove, high up towards the ceiling, you can't miss it. I reckon it won't be there. I'll get round to it. Gina. I put all your things into the wardrobe in chests of drawers. 
been inside my shit. Oh, those glasses. There's going to be a flashback. So this happens and it's wrong. Are you cross with me? Yes. Are the glasses something to do with the big white eyes? Because they're the same, like, or well, the big light lice eyes. I, I found these too. Mm, something dodgy. I'm just waiting for the mirror. It's the glasses. It's something to do with the glasses. And why is this poor actress always followed around by ghosts? Last year she was followed around by her own ghost. This year she's followed around by another ghost. Unless this is her again. That's, um... I think Flora just misses Miss Cecil terribly. So we play little games to keep her from feeling sad. Mm. It's such a draining thing. Dealing with children. This is inappropriate. Extremely. We can play a game. Hmm? Any game you it's like. It's going to be like hide and seek or we'll something. We'll be back in our beds before too long. Hide yeah, and look, I, I knew it. Okay, no. hide and seek, sure. Nice. No, why are we turning all the lights off? Why are we turning all the lights off? Bye. If you need to turn the lights off, play hide and seek, you shit at it, alright? I can play hide and seek with every fucking light on. And I will keep it that way, especially if I lived in a house like that. Nope, nope, nope. You aren't down here, are you? I mean, the aim of Pine Seek is to not give yourself away. This wing is off limits, game or not. Don't need any sort of nursery rhymes or music boxes going off at all because it's not what we play it's not how we play no no fuck right off oh i thought he was going to be the boyfriend i thought he was going to be the boyfriend Shut the fuck up, bitch. Hey. Reminds me of that TikTok, you know, of that girl where she like hits the curtain. So for today's drink. Oh no, there's the boyfriend. that she like practiced Dad. it first. Hey, 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 it's okay, you're okay, you're okay, he's away! Oh, he's away, he's away, oh, he's away. What is this dick's problem? Like, mate, you, you're nothing, all right? You were the au pair's fucking boyfriend, so stop making out like you're some sort of, like, fucking amazing person right now. Okay, guys, so episode two there. Another good episode, and we got a couple more. I like that we... And I think it's it, it's similar to what they did in the last season, that we sort of get a little bit of background on each character per episode. Um, so, for example, this episode was, of course, Miles, and we understood why he was... Um, expelled from school i do i think the, the actor of miles is fantastic because he makes me like so annoyed sometimes i'm like freaking out and then other times i'm like oh i feel really bad for you so i think it's i think it's important to note that, that obviously you know everything that miles does is obviously because he loves his sister and his family so i think that was a nice touch because i was thinking throughout it like yeah why the friggy like being such an absolute you know 
But we found out it was because he wanted to protect his sister from this friggin' woman who's just obsessed with, like, I don't know, her boyfriend's obviously a dick. She's fucking needs to get a grip because she's pissing about the place. But then we also have these dolls upstairs that are just kind of, like, hang, singing around. But, interesting to note, though, that Flo is like, bitch, shut the fuck up. All right. So I'm interested to see, you know, she's obviously not scared of them. Maybe those ghosts or those dolls or whatever are um, a different kind of spirit or vibe compared to maybe Miss Jessup and this random ass guy um, who are maybe more darker evil spirits, more malevolent spirits, shall we say. So I'm intrigued to see what happens. Miles there at the end, a little bit ill. So, you know, hopefully we'll see. I don't know what that was. Was it an act? Or was it real? Because I think with Miles, you don't really know. Also, with the whole flower situation, he was, like, whispering in Danny's ear, and it was all a little bit too much when he started brushing back her hair, and I was like... So, you know, is there maybe some sort of possession going on there with one of the characters? Maybe is he possessed by this dude that's outside? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. I really like um, the characters in this, though. I like it's it's a small cast, you know, we're starting to get to know getting to know each character. Um, the gardener, I can't remember her name. I'll have to have a look. Um, she was... I really liked to see more of her character, because in the first episode I was like, oh, who's this? But we got to learn about Mara, and she seems pretty cool. And love Hannah. Miss Grace is just bae. And Owen as well seems like a really nice character, and that's the issue. I'm worried they're all, they're all gonna die. So, yeah. I guess we'll see. But no, a really good episode. And yeah, I can't wait to watch episode three. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All my social media will be in the description box below. And yeah, until next time. See ya.